Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel once again. My name is Bimbo. And if you are just seeing us for the first time, Jackpot with the Days is a channel where you can get relevant and important information to Portugal where we reside, to Austria and other beautiful European countries where we believe that you are going to have a beautiful relocation experience. Prior to now, we brought your way uh, a job opportunity to Luxembourg, to work student opportunity to Luxembourg, same to Austria, job opportunity and student opportunity, same to Portugal, student opportunity, work opportunity to uh, Portugal. So today we want to quickly talk about job, I mean, we want to quickly talk about student opportunity at various public universities in Italy. Yes, in Italy. I mean, this this video today is as a result of about two weeks of research into different opportunities in, in, in various public universities in Italy. Because like I said, this period is the best time for you to be able to apply for admission, plan your JAPA plan to any EU country of your choosing. That is why we are bringing different countries, different opportunities to different EU countries as a student and as a worker. And if you have not follow this channel, like and subscribe to our channel so that by the time we drop each of these opportunities, you will be the first to get notification. We are still researching on Poland, on Belgium, on Finland, and a host of them that have cheap tuition fee for international applicants. So today we will be talking about public universities in Italy that have our application fee waiver for all international applicants. I mean, I've, I've had some people chat me up on Instagram asking that, uh, which schools in which schools in in portugal have application fee waiver i've not seen any so far all of them have application fee the least i've seen is at least 20 euro but all of them have but in italy i have about 20 schools that do not require that you pay application fee so i'll be listing a bunch of them i'll be showing you today uh so do that uh, the schools that do not require application fee waiver that do not require IELTS before you can apply for any admission, BSc, MSc, and PhD. Also, scholarship opportunities in each of these um, um, universities, public universities in Italy. I will be talking about three uh, universities, giving you examples of how you can sort different informations, apply for admissions in each of their in, in each of their websites, and I will be touching on English taught courses in each of these universities and. Lastly, we will also be talking about how you can, I mean, I'll be, I'll be going through an application procedure for one of the universities, how you can apply for admission for, I mean, register at the university website and how you can apply for admission at one of the universities with you. And the same procedure applies to all the universities in, in, in Italy that I'll be talking about today. So, like I said, if you have not liked this channel, this is the best time. Like and subscribe so that by the time we draw opportunities like this you will be the first to get notification so come with me and as i show you um the universities that, are, that have application fee waiver ielts ielts waiver and or out the universities that that just require that you submit what is called english proficiency certificate so i'll be showing you a bunch of them scholarship opportunity admission deadline yes like i said a bunch of them are started application has released applications from last year, uh, from what I can find, I can, I've, I've seen September, October, November, and December. They have released applications from last year, and a host of them, they are going to end their applications by 30th of March, some 6th of March, some 8th of March, some 29th of March, some 30th of March, some even 4th of April. I've, 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 I mean, that's why I'll be, I, I, I have to list them out. It, it, it's about two weeks of research that I'm bringing your way today to be able to aid your um, applications and your JAPA plan into Europe this year. It's, a, it's, a, it's compulsory that you achieve your JAPA plan. And that is why JAPA with your days is designed. I mean, it's, it's, made, it's made for you to be able to have or achieve your JAPA plan. So come with me as I show you each of these opportunities. So we have about 20 of them. Let me just mention a few of them. I, I believe you are able to, you know, see them on my screen. So University of Messina, University of um, Sapienza, University of Bergamo, University of Parma, U University of Palermo. I apologize in advance if I'm not pronouncing the name of the universities like you know it to be called. So 
uh, University of Pisa. So I like I, I mean these are the list of all the 20 universities that do not require application fee when you apply to them, unlike some other European uh, uh, universities like Austria, uh, like Portugal, like Luxembourg, a bunch of them like that require that you pay application fee. But these universities in Italy do not require that you pay application fee when you apply to them. And there are 20 of them, as you can see them on my screen, 20 of them. The last one here, the, 20, the, 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 the last one here is University of Giona. And uh, that is the uh, uh, so one to 20 universities that do not require that you pay application fee when you apply to them. So take your time and you know research, de depending on your area of specialization or your area of interest with, re with respect to course that you want to do, you can research. And there are many courses that are taught in English designed, many courses are designed for international applicants. That is what I've, I was able to, I mean, I was able to gather from this university's website. Another thing that I need to say is that from my findings, I discovered that uh, Italian universities usually uh, start application from October of, um, of, of every year, meaning most universities in Italy, especially this list of universities that you are seeing here, has already started applications from October of last year, and majority of them are going to end application by 30th of March, some middle of March, but the majority of them are going to end application by then. We will be looking at a few of them anyway, but I just needed I just needed to quickly say that. Now, another thing is this list of Italian universities without IETLs requirement when you are submitting applications. So this include uh, BSc, MSc, and PhD. My, uh, like I said, this is for both BSc, MSc, and uh, and uh, PhD applicants. So now. While most Italian universities do not require IETS, you can easily get admissions to Italy universities without IETS by submitting any, any other English language proof, such as English proficiency certificate. If you don't know, know that there is something called English proficiency certificate, especially for those who are seeking to apply for a master's program or PhD program. That means you can go to your exams and record department, just like you request for your BSc and transcripts from your exams and record uh, from your exams and record in your school. You can also go there and request for what is called English proficiency English proficiency certificate. That cert that certificate will state that you were taught with English for four years or two years if for master for four years for BSc. It will state that you were taught for four years during the durations of your program. So that is usually what majority of um, uh, of my subscribers or people that have you know consulted with me or asked me this question that do not want to do IET. That is what I usually advise them to go and get. It's a waste of time if you go spend about above hundred thousand naira writing IELTS to just get six band or five band. It's a waste of time. Majority of schools in Europe accept this English proficiency certificate as a method of, uh, of getting waiver. So as a method of getting waiver, when you have that certificate, a letter, it will be written on the letter-headed paper of the university. So when you have that letter, it's more than enough waiver for most universities in Europe. That is why it, I, I, I wrote it in I wrote it in capital letter and in bold here yeah, so that you can see it. That is what I was able to gather from uh, researching this university. So these are the list of Italian universities without IELTS that only require that you submit a letter from any of your BSc or master's school stating that you were taught in English. And I think it's about 12 of them that I was able to uh, get out of the uh, research that I was able to. So you can see them already on my screen. The first one, University of Bologna, University of Milan, University of Florence, University of Pisa, University of Padua, you know. A bunch of them, there were about 12 of them that I was able to recite. They do not require that you submit um, IELTS before you apply for admission. So now that is the first phase of this video. Now let's quickly, let me quickly show you some scholarship opportunity and some, um, some scholarship opportunity deadlines and some courses taught in English. So I will, I, I, and I will also show you how you can, the document required for some of these BSc and MSc courses 
and I will, I will try as much as possible to, uh, uh, I mean, go through a, a school application process with you. So let's start with University of Camer University of Camerino. Yes, University of Camerino. So now, University of Camerino application has started from 15th of November of 2023. And it's going to end on 15th of March, 2024. So it has already started. So which means it's 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 now it's it's going to last for about uh, four months and you know about that about four months. Yes, that about four months. So now, also so since this application has started, it they recently updated this because I've been following this school for a while. They recently updated this statement that says. The pre-admission application for BSc degree courses and some of the MSc degree courses in biological science, computer science, geoenvironmental, etc., have been suspended because of the huge number of applications that they have received from international uh, uh, applicants. So, which means if you are interested in you know some of these courses for BSc and MSc for, for this particular university, don't bother. Uh, I mean, submitting it again because they have received quite a number of them that, uh, uh, that, that that made them to suspend application for subsequent ones. So now that is for uh, that that is that about that. So like I said, the, the admission has already started and it's going to end by 15th of March. Now let's quickly look at the uh, uh, you know the tuition fee. Let's quickly look at the tuition fee. Um, you know, uh, range in terms of uh, uh, international applicant in this school. So it's stated here that non-EU citizens who are resident outside Italy pays in this amount as school fees, 456 euro. And you can even pay them in, you know, in different installment, which is already stated here, the first installment, the second, ins the first installment, the second installment, and the third installment. That is what it is, it is stating here. So the first installment, they expect you to pay it uh, uh, in, with, your, with your enrollment fee and you know some other charges that they will, in, they will take from you to be able to register and enroll for a particular course that you, you were given admission for and second enrollment, third enrollment. And okay, another thing is non-EU citizen from certain poor and developing country, and I think this is where most African countries fall into, they pay this amount of money School fees for uh, uh, courses that they, they 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 get admission for at University of Camerino. Now, three hundred and fifty-six euro. That is what they pay. Now, uh, uh, but of course, if you if the, any late the the the, the, the 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 deadline for payment of each of these instrumental payments is fixed. So, which means if you exceed them, you pay a late fee of fifty euro for any of the instrumental payment that. To miss. So now that is that about that. Now let's quickly look at uh, let, let's quickly look at um, the applications procedure for for instance for MSc degree. Let me so so stated here to apply for pre-admission. Please complete the following application. So for instance, let's click on this. Let me quickly run through the uh, application procedure for one of the, for one of the universities with you. So it's stated here that. Uh, uh, you put your name. So I will just auto fill this because I'm using Google Chrome. So you put your name, your surname, your email, your date of birth. You said you can set anything here. And let me just quickly set anything here just to allow me to move forward. Uh, country of citizenship. Country of citizenship. Uh, you have to put, I'm from Nigeria, so you have to put, so, and it asks here, do you need a, a, a study visa before, you know, coming to their school. So of course, if you are coming from, I mean, as an international applicant, you all, would, it is it, about 99.9% .9 of you guys, we need study visa. So you have to choose, yes, that you need study visa now. You move, you click on next. Now, when you click on next, you see, you have to up upload your passport. You have to uh, choose the master degree course that you want to do. For instance, chemistry and advanced chemistry, uh, chemical methodology is taught in English. Uh, mathematics and applications is taught in English. Physics is taught in English. So you have to scroll down to be able to look for the course that you want to apply for. So that is for that, for um, um, master degree courses that are taught in English. So you will see a bunch of them. when you Once you click on the course that you want to do on the application portal, you will see the language of instructions that comes with it. Now, 
of course, you fill the year of BSc graduations, you know, a bunch of other information that you have to upload your transcript certificate and a, I mean, your final grade that you left your BSc with, English language certification that you have. If you have any, but if you don't have any, it's, this, it's, it's stating here that you can upload your English proficiency certificate. Like I said, get your English proficiency certificate for everyone that have BSc. So in here, you can just click on orders. So by the time you click on order, you can name it here that English proficiency certificate is what you are uploading. So by the time you 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 said it here that order, then you can just come here and upload the English certificate here. Then of course you just scroll down and you know fill in the information as they request them. Then you once you are done, you agree to the terms and condition and you click on submit. And like they stated here, like they stated here, that estimated time for the evaluation is one month, meaning if you submit your application today, today is 10. By 9th of March, you should get a response from them. Estimated time of evaluation is one month. So but from the date of your submission, you should expect to hear from them whether you have been offered admission or not within a month. That is what it will take for them to review your application. So uh, that is that for University of Cameroon. I just wanted to go through that procedure with you, but the rest, I'm just going to, you know, quickly brush it. And they also have scholarship. Now, by the time you click on this page, if you open it on, on, on any other, I mean, I, I, wouldn't, I, I would not want to go to details into different scholarship opportunities that they have, but all universities that I've mentioned here have different and various scholarship opportunities for both BSc, MSc, and PhD, applicant. So once you open on this place, scholarship for information, you'll be able to get for University of Kamer Reno. Now that is that for uh that is that for University of Kamer Reno. Now let's quickly look at University of Genova. University of Genova. Now let's look at the um application deadline. Let's look, quickly look at the application deadline and how you can you know apply for admission. So it's stated here, first time at the university, of course, you have to first of all register. Now, when you have when you are done registering, you can now come to this session here. Are you a non-EU student? This is where you have to apply for a non-EU student, meaning most mostly African um, applicant. This is where you come. So once you click on this session here, it will take you to a stage where you will choose your course, just like I showed to you earlier. It's the same procedure. Just like I showed to you earlier for University of Camerino, the same procedure applies for once you register by putting your email, your password, creating a username, and all of those things. They will send you an email to confirm that you're not a robot. Once you do that, you have a login details, and you come to you need apply. Then once you click on it, you'll be able to fill in all the required information. So uh, you'll be able to fill in all the required information. And in here, uh, the different documents that you need to submit for uh, if you are applying for BSc and if you are applying for a master's program, these are the documents that you also need to submit. And then let's check another thing. Let's quickly check another thing. Um, um, the, also, if the minute you click on the, uh, what is it called here? The minute you click on you applying for admission here, you will be able to see the list of courses that are taught in English. The same procedure, just like we saw for the University of Camerino, you will also see it on this session of the um, on this session for the University of Genova. Yes, for the University of Genova and for scholarship opportunity. Let's quickly, you know, check a few of them out. Let's quickly check a few of them. So you have various scholarship opportunities, unit incentive grant and award, unit grant and award. You know, once for each of them, you can for more information, you can click on this session here to get more information about them, postgraduate scholarship and research grant, uh, other grants and awards, grant for us in universities college. If you want the I mean, if you want to apply for uh, um, um, uh, uh, I mean incentives or maybe uh, a grant for them to be paying for your housing at the University Hostel. So there are many scholarships. There, there is even something called hardship, hardship support for most of the universities at the, for the most, most of the universities in Italy. What does that mean? Hardship support is for a self-sponsored student who maybe on your second year or third year, you were paying school fees and you ran into some financial trouble 
with your funding and you know you could no longer go ahead funding yourself both for school fees uh accommodations and all other things you can apply for what is called hardship support hardship support majority of them have various requirements that you need to meet before you can apply for that that is for university of genova so now let's quickly look at uh, and then the admission deadline yes the admission deadline before we 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 we, 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 we well, I, I finish with them yeah the admission are started from the 18th of december you see here like i said most universities in italy start applications from 2023 most of some in october some in uh, november some in december that's why you're seeing here they started their home from the 18th of december 2023 and it's going to end by 29th of march 2024 yes and these are the documents that you need to uh, uh submit to be able to get your or uh, something for bsc msc or different applications that you uh, want to submit that will determine what document you will need to support. Generally, this is what you need to submit for uh, MSc, passport, photograph, CV, your bachelor degree, your transcript of record, your English proficiency certificate. They also stated here, your, you see, English proficiency certificate or certificate attesting that English has been the bachelor, uh, bachelor medium of instruction. So you, you see that a majority of Italian universities also recognize that English proficiency certificate that I ask you to go and get. That is why on my on this session here, I stated he I stated it clearly in capital letter that majority of Italian universities recognize it. So go and get it if you don't have it. That is for University of Genova, and I think we've um, we've dealt with. Uh, or everything that you need to know about the application deadline, the scholarship opportunity, the courses taught in English, how you, how you will be able to see them. Now, lastly, lastly, the third school that I want to quickly, I, I, cannot, I cannot talk about all the old school because of time. Lastly, let me quickly talk about University of Maserata. University of Maserata. Now, it's stated here that University of Maserata application has also started from October 1st of 2023. Now let's quickly check when it is going to end. Here it stated here, it stated here that from October 1st of 2023 up until spring of 2024, when it's spring, see March 6, 2024, one application is going to end. And another one here is um uh, maybe this is for their extension, April 8th of 2024. That is when uh, another application is going to end. But between March 6th or April 8th of 2024, so if you are interested in University of Meserata, I will strongly advise that you focus on the March 6th of 2024, which is next month. You should focus on that because the application has started about two to three months ago. So that is for um, how you can enroll. So now uh the same procedure once you uh if you want to enroll at the university of mesrata you can just um, uh, click on the enrollment procedure to be able to get all the document that you need uh uh, uh i mean especially for students that require visa you you click on you click on that you'll be able to uh, see how you will how you will enroll so you pre-enrollment once you click on this you follow the same procedure just like a uh, university of um of camerino the same procedure like i went through with you with university of camerino the same procedure also apply once you click on this you'll be able to register you have a username uh password and every other thing you validate your email then you come to you come to this session you enroll then every, once you choose on the course that you want to apply for you will see the language of instruction whether it is taught in italian or whether it is taught in english but like i said majority of universities in Italy have various courses taught in English and those courses are particularly designed for international applicants. Now let's quickly look at uh, we've look at uh, deadline here now we've talked about uh, courses how you can get courses taught in English. Let's quickly look at tuition fees tuition fees for tuition fees for universities of um, Messe Maserata, tuition fee here can be paid five times. Yes, it can be paid five, four times rather. It can be paid four times, first installment by 
October 31st of 2024. Second installment by January, third installment by March, and the fourth installment by May. So the, the first installment, you know, including enrollment fee and every other fee, they expect you to pay one, 140 euro plus 16 euro. And then second installment, you pay this in total, depending on the cost that you're applying for anyway, uh, in total, you pay um, 1,600 euro in total. So, uh, and I think this is for, uh, yes, this is for first year. This is for first year, second year, you pay this and third year you pay this. So, um, and I think this is for, um, uh, this, this should be for the, um, um, the BSc applicant because uh, uh, master, master program is uh, only for two years. So, but this is the, this is the, the general range of courses uh, uh, and their school fees at the University of Maserata. So that is that about uh, the tuition fee. I just wanted you to have uh, a range of uh, what they pay as tuition fee for most of the universities in Italy, especially for this one that we are actually looking at. Now, programs that are taught in English, they also have a page for you to be able to see some of them. They have you know, international tourism and destination management, international finance and economics. They have international relations. Some of these courses are taught in English. And usually, um, uh, BSc uh, program in most EU or, or in Italy, they are usually for three years. It's unlike uh, the way it is designed in Africa that you have to do four years in Africa. BSc courses are usually for three years. That is why you are seeing uh, three years bachelor degree program here and it is taught in English. So most BSc program are, are taught in English and that's the way they, they design their curriculum there. So, but it, and it's equivalent to the same four years that you spend in universities in Africa anyway, but that is that. I just wanted to quickly mention that. Now, um, so we've talked about uh, uh, courses taught in English. We talked about, uh, now let's quickly look at their scholarship, yes. Let's quickly look at their scholarship opportunity as the last point that I'm going to be talking about here for the University of um, for the University of um, 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 Maserata. So the idea is this: to get the uh, uh, the scholarship opportunity, just to not waste much of your time. Once you click on the scholarship opportunity, it will take you there. You'll be able to see a bunch of them. And these scholarship opportunities are open for BSc, MSc, and PhD. Now, for PhD, most universities in Italy require that uh, if, it is, if you are applying for um, a, a, a program or a topic sponsored by faculties of the university, which of course is paid for anyway, is, spo is sponsored, that require that, of course, you write a proposal, you submit it, meet the deadline, attend interview, and all of if you and if you and if you get it, of course, you'll be able to uh, apply. But for self-sponsored uh, PhD program, it requires that you get um, 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 uh, a, uni uh, a supervisor consent before you apply for admission. I think it's a few of them anyway. It requires that you get a, a supervisor consent before applying, but some does not require that you get a supervisor consent. Just apply for admission, and then if your if your if your um, um, profile, pro, uh, every both CV, prof, uh, um, um, uh, proposals, and every other thing that you submit, if it fits in into what they feel that uh, will be a very good candidate for PhD, they will definitely give you um, opportunity for uh, admission as a PhD applicant. So, on this video, we've talked about different universities in Italy with, uh, um, that do not require that you pay application fee at the university of, um, uh, uh, at different universities in Italy. We've talked about uh, different scholarship opportunities that you can apply for, for these universities in Italy. We've also talked about courses that are taught in English and how you can get them. We reviewed a school application and how you can apply to each school application. We also reviewed deadlines for each of the schools in, in, I mean, for some of the schools in Italy, which of course is, like I said, majority of them, I, I went through each of these school websites and I can tell you categorically, majority, in fact, all of them started application from 2023 
some in October, some in uh, September, some in November, some in December. That is what you've been able to go through with me if you made it to this um, end of the video. So uh, the application has started and mo most of them is going to end by 30th of March. So take note of this um, application. So they do not require application fee and some of them have um, um, uh, do not require IELTS. They only require that you, you apply for what is called English Proficiency Certificate. However, if you're applying for BSc with your WIEC GC already showing your score in English, you know, that already shows that uh, you understand English if you are able to uh, pass uh, WIEC and you have a very good grade in your English on your WIEC results. So that's, uh, that's a, another waiver session for BSc applicant so if you have made it to this you know to to this point with me uh, like and subscribe to our channel so that by the time we bring opportunities like this you will be the first to get notification this period this period uh th this period is usually for admission that is why i am focusing all my energy to bring you different opportunities to jack back to europe we are uh, to jump back to Europe on a student visa. Those that require application fee, those that their school fees are quite very cheap and very affordable for international applicants. So uh, please like and subscribe so that by the time I bring you opportunities, more and more of them, I'm still researching on Finland, Belgium, and the like. So like and subscribe to our channel so that by the time I bring you opportunities like this, you will be the first to get notification. And thank you very, very much once again for following me to this end. And of course, if you have any questions, any concern whatsoever, if you need any consultation, you can subscribe, you can look at our pin uh, uh, messages on the comment section for consultation sessions, you know, and every other information that you will need clarity on. Thank you very, very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if we have if this information has been very relevant to you that is how the youtube management sees that our channel is bringing relevant information to the general public like and subscribe thank you very much bye bye for now